Good morning. So for today's video, I thought, I mean, I just kind of feel like eating. Maybe you guys want to watch me eat. I just still think a lot of people are really curious about what vegans eat. So I'm here to deliver. Okay. I'm going to let you know what I eat in one day. A little warning. Okay. I have been going through some things. I've been a little stressed and I bet you're expecting me to say that I've gained some weight, but actually when I'm stressed, I lose weight. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just because my mind is working so hard that I'm literally using all of my energy mentally and I'm just burning a lot of calories. I, I don't know what it is. Maybe I'm depressed. I'm not eating as much. I don't realize. So today's going to be a little fatty, <laughs> a little fatty what I ate today, a little, I need to gain a few what I ate today. So no, it's not really going to be, it's not going to be, I would say, okay, okay. I'm talking too much, <laughs> um, but it's just not going to be healthy. It's not, we're not going to be having salad today. Okay. We're going to be having some good stuff. Lots of carbs, lots of bread, potatoes, pasta. <laughs> so for breakfast this morning, I'm really feeling a bagel. I'm an everything bagel kind of gal. So we're gonna go in with this amazing. Wow, look at that. Ooh, just gonna pop that in my toaster oven. The key to a good bagel is to put the cream cheese on the second. It gets done. And if you were wondering, um, is cream cheese vegan? No, it's not, but there are a few options, this being my favorite one. It's made from almond milk. I feel like the flavor is the most accurate and the texture is really good. So this is the one that I recommend. If you were curious, this is what it looks like on the inside. <laughs> mm. Yes, don't you just love that sound? All right, now we gotta go in with the tomato because tomato is in season and it is everything right now. I've been eating so much tomato. A little bit of seasoning. I prefer seasoned salt. Put it on everything. You guys probably know the drill by now. And of course, a bit of fresh pepper. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. Mm. I could easily eat this for the rest of my life. I could have this for breakfast every morning for the rest of my life and feel so content. That's the thing about carbs, really. Bread, pasta, potatoes. I think like, is there anybody out there that disagrees? Like you could eat them every day and always be happy about it. I really don't know why I'm sitting here eating. I've lived in this apartment for almost a year and I've probably sat here to eat maybe 10 times. <laughs> I always sit on the couch. I'm just gonna be real with you guys. Let's go watch TV, okay? This is like, <laughs> This is how I live, <laughs> don't judge me. So sometimes when I wanna feel like I have friends, um, <laughs> I just turn on the Big Brother live cam and it's really all you need in life, okay? Instantly, I feel like I'm part of a group. I feel like I'm there. If you guys don't watch Big Brother, you're really missing out. So let's see what they're up to. If you're unfamiliar with what I'm talking about, there is literally live camera 24 hours a day in the Big Brother house and I can watch it on my TV. I've seen some really crazy things. Like sometimes I can't believe that they're, that they don't cut the cameras. Like people in bed together, having like really personal conversations. It's interesting. Are you following or rolling straight? I don't know. Do you have any other tips for me Christmas? Because your advice hasn't let me down yet. Actually, I think you should curl with that outfit. <laughs> well, it's not very juicy right now. Just talking about doing her hair. For lunch, I have something new and exciting. Okay, we're gonna try out a new recipe today that I haven't made before. And that is an open face loaded baked potato. The oven's ready. So I like to eat the skin of my potato. So I've cleaned it really, really, really well. And now I'm gonna put just a tiny bit of olive oil so that I can put some seasoned salt, you guessed it, and a little bit of pepper. So I'm just gonna put, oh, I was gonna say a tiny bit of oil, but oh, that's not a tiny bit. <laughs> Coat the potato. <laughs> and just put a bit of seasoning, or a lot. <laughs> if you want it to be like a french fry. And some pepper. Pop it in a pan. Ew, ew, ew. 
I always think like does anybody else always think of their food being hurt now after watching Sausage Party? I swear to God, I think about it all the time. <laughs> Next level vegan. All right, and he goes, I'm cooking it for an hour at 375. Only four minutes left. So we're gonna get some other things popping. Over here, I have some broccoli steaming. And over here, you can see I chopped a little bit of a green onion. We have some butternut bisque soup, which you might be confused about that, but I'll explain in a second. Vegan butter as well as some vegan sour cream. Now, I haven't tried vegan sour cream in probably like four years, but I remember when I initially tried it, I wasn't a fan. But I thought, you know what, it's been a while. They may have reformulated, or you know, I might just be that much more vegan that maybe, you know, this is really hard to do with one hand. <laughs> I just might be so vegan that now this tastes good since I haven't had real sour cream in ages to compare it to, but I don't know. Let's try it. All right, here we go. Live taste test. Nope. That tastes like shit, sorry. <laughs> Well, okay, um, in lieu of the vegan sour cream, I will be doing my cream cheese hack, which is taking some vegan cream cheese, some lemon juice, and some apple cider vinegar, and a little bit of salt, and mixing it up, and just making my own damn sour cream. It tastes way better. I just really thought Father Your Heart would have came through. All of their salad dressings are fantastic, so. Can't win them all, I guess. Maybe I should come, maybe, maybe this is my calling, guys. Maybe I should be the first person to make good vegan sour cream and market that shit. I should, right? Half of a lemon, just a juice, and we're gonna scoop this in there. The tiniest splash of apple cider vinegar, just to give it, ooh, the potato's done, girl. And just a little bit of salt. Seasoned salt, of course. All right, and then just kind of whisk it together until it gets the, uh, you know, the right consistency that we're looking for here. Look at this, beautiful. Follow your heart, take some damn notes. <laughs> okay, potatoes done, let's get it out. Oh yeah, look at that. So we're gonna split them down the middle. Nice and soft on the inside, like that. Oh yeah, I'm gonna just do a few little chops to kind of loosen up the meat in here. Then I'm going to pour on all of my steamed broccoli. Okay, and now this is where it gets a little weird. I just like putting soup on my potato. Um, so I got this butternut squash soup just to kind of give it some liquid like I don't I don't like dry food we gotta have a little something something here and we got the sour cream butter of course what would we be doing without butter on our potato some green onions and of course a little bit of salt and pepper oh yes this is pretty good, but I have to say, if I would have thought about That's it more, oh, oh, a if I would have thought about it more, I think I would have made my own soup. The soup's like really good, don't get me wrong. It's a little bit of a, like a weird flavor combo. I would have made like a vegan cream of chicken soup using like um, pureed cauliflower, and they sell this, um, it's called like chicken flavor cubes, but it's vegan. It's still really good, but it needs like a more savory soup instead of, this one's like a little sweet, it's a little weird, but it's good. I feel like this should be my thumbnail. <laughs> For anyone who's watching Big Brother season 19 right now, can we just talk about how unbelievably annoying Josh is? I cannot believe he's even made it this far. The stupid pots and pans and stuff, it's just way too far. Although it's kind of funny when he calls people meatball. <laughs> All right, time for a little bit of dinner tonight. I'm feeling something classic. 
just some good old spaghetti with garlic, onion, mushroom, and maybe even some vegan sausage. But, you know, I kind of just have a weird relationship with fake meat. I typically hate it, to be honest, but every now and then, I kind of crave it. Is that like a really like something like that? Like vegans shouldn't admit that they crave meat, I don't know. This is one of the only uh, vegan meats that I actually like. For some reason, I just like vegan sausage. I didn't even really like real sausage. That's the weird thing. All right, so this is pretty basic. Just heating up the pan, putting in one small chopped onion. And while that's browning, I'm gonna come over here and chop a little bit of fresh garlic. Don't you just love this little baby jar? How adorable. It keeps my fridge from reeking of garlic. The onions are browning really nicely over here. Just going to put in that little bit of garlic. Of course, we need the mushroom. Now listen, I know not everybody loves mushroom, but this girl loves mushroom. I'm just gonna let this cook for probably about 10 minutes until everything becomes a nice caramel color. And you'll see that it's a bit watery because I am adding little bits of water as I cook so that I don't have to use oil to, you know, make this a non-stick situation. And we're gonna put in our spaghetti. Now, this isn't whole wheat spaghetti. This is the enriched flour poison spaghetti. And you know, if I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it and I'm gonna do it right. And now, the very last thing to prep is, of course, our sausage, which I have to admit, really grosses me out cutting this. Like, look at this. This oil even looks kind of like bloody. It's not cute. Just adding some of the pasta sauce, stirring it up, and then the sausage. Here is the beautiful end result. Look how gorgeous she is. Wow. The poison spaghetti is perfectly al dente, gummy goodness. I'm gonna make myself a little bowl here, guys, and when I say little, I mean heaping. <laughs> Mm, 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 mm. And back to the sofa we go. My idea of a sexy night, candle, pasta, and some real time with Bill Maher. <laughs> My life is honestly just so sad. <laughs> but I'm okay with it. I'm okay, I'm okay with it. At least that's what I tell myself. I mean, all right, I'm going to indulge in this very big bowl of spaghetti. And I'll be back when it's time for dessert. <laughs> Cause you guys already know, I got some new ice cream that I need to taste test. Okay, time for dessert. Here we go, actually, I should feed the cats. Do you guys wanna see what my cats eat in a day? It's not vegan. <laughs> Here we go, Chippy, do you wanna tell them? Do you wanna tell them, cutie? Hmm? The book is on. <laughs> Bookie, you want to show them what you eat in a day? Hmm? <laughs> she just woke up. So in the morning, they get a cup of this dry food that they share. Yes, it's organic. And a free range chicken. My cats literally eat better than I do. I don't even always eat organic, but my cats do. And then, every other night, they get something that they're very, very addicted to this stuff. And honestly, I have to admit, this smells very edible for humans. It's almost like just opening a can of shredded chicken. She lives for it. And for my dessert, ooh girl, these are brand new as far as I'm concerned. I've never seen these before this week at my Whole Foods. And I'm really excited to try this, yes. All right, here we go. What? Oh my God, what? This ice cream is literally so good that I wanna go back and get the other flavors tomorrow. So good, there was mint chip and I almost got it. And 
pistachio. Anyway, so that about does it for what I'm gonna eat today. I don't think I'm gonna be eating anything else. So I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed watching and I will see you really soon. Bye.